The new college in Wisconsin specifically designed for students with autism. The Wisconsin Independent Learning College plans to start its semester in Waukesha, its first semester in Waukesha in early June. I'm joined by the co-founder Stephanie Mock and her son Rob, who is also a student at WILC. Thanks so much for being here, you guys. We appreciate it. Thanks for having us. So uh, we were just talking Train. about you were previously located in Waterford, but you moved to Waukesha. Train. Tell us about why you did that. Right, Track. so WILC um, was founded training. in 2012 with three training. students in Waterford, mm -hmm. and so we have grown to 10 students. So we really needed a bigger location, and also Waukesha is more centrally located, so we decided it would be a really good move for us. And I know Rob is your son, and I'm sure part of the reason why you guys decided to create this college, um, and uh, tell us what it's like um, for students like Rob to go to this and what they're learning and preparing themselves for. Sure, so WILC is an autism-specific program, and we work with students ages 18 and above. We really um, work on daily living skills and pre-vocational training, and we use academics to teach within those realms. Okay, and so um, you said that there's a waiting list, because you only have 10 students, I know, because you want to make sure you give them all the attention and, and the care that they need, but it's right. really popular. It is, because we're very unique, and there are no other programs around like us. So we do have a waiting list right now, and we are slowly taking students off that waiting list when we move but we need to have very controlled growth because we not only have to transition the new students in, but we have to have our current students with our new students as well as our staff. And we're looking at some pictures right now of some of those students helping with the move over to Waukesha. Can you tell us um, what everybody's doing here and how they helped out? Sure, so April 30th, we had a cleanup day at our new facility. And so we had some people volunteer. And so we were working outside, okay. spreading mulch. We were also working on a new bathroom and we re received a spark grant through Diversify insurance to help yes. us make that ADA compliant yes. bathroom. Okay, yes. and so Rob has um, agreed to join us today and he's got his letter board um, to help him communicate with us, but Rob, I wanted to ask you, what does uh, WILC Our feature program <laughs> It's okay, what does WILC mean to your life, Rob? Mm. I T it I S is A to train D R E A M Dream C O M E Come T R U E Period. Oh, that's wonderful. Do you have anything else? Mm -hmm. Y E S I L O V E I Love T O Two C O N T I N U E I love to continue T O two L E A R N learn A N D and C O M M U N I C A T E communicate W I T H with M Y my F R I E N D S. Well, thanks so much for sharing, Rob. I appreciate that. So he loves uh, learning there, and I'm sure using a letter board like that to help communicate, that's one of the things that you work on. We do, because most of our students are nonverbal or limited verbal, so rapid prompting method, the RPM Train. that you just saw, is one of our tools to help our students communicate effectively. Thank you so much for coming in, Stephanie Thanks and Rob. So much. If you want more information on the Wisconsin Independent Learning College, you can go on to our website, tmj4.com. We've got a link set up there for you. We'll be right back.